You want to impress somebody that you care for greatly, but your cooking is currently suffering greatly. Not everybody is born a great cook, but anybody can learn. Here are some amazing hacks used by chefs that you can use and look like a great cook even if you have little or no experience. When you are cooking a roast, go large. Buying a bigger cut of meat, when you buy a roast for a meal, has a couple of benefits. One is that you will have more leftovers from the meal. Another is that the larger the meat, the better the overall finished flavor will be. To cook healthier, try replacing highly refined goods with whole grain alternatives when you bake. Enriched white flour and other such refined grain products are low in nutritional value. Even replacing a fraction of them with natural whole grain products will improve the healthiness of the finished dish. Consult packaging directions for specific replacements, whole grain products do not always replace refined ones at a 1 to 1 ratio. To keep salt in shakers fresh and dry, add uncooked white rice to the shaker. The rice will absorb any moisture from the environment instead of the salt and stops the salt from dissolving or caking. Rice is not noticeable in a glass shaker and is too large to be shaken out with normal use. Remove roasts, chickens, pork loins, or hams from the oven just a couple of minutes before they reach their ideal temperature for perfectly cooked meat that isn't too dry. The meat will continue to cook for the first couple of minutes outside the oven, bringing it to a safe temperature. A good way to save leftover sauces is to store and freeze them in ice cube trays. Then you can reheat them in a sauté pan whenever you need a quick sauce, in just the portion size that you need. This is great for making easy meals during the week. This is a great tip to use when making salad dressings. If you want to make a dressing that is creamy and rich, but without adding all of the fat, simply use a mixture of half mayonnaise and half Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt is a healthy alternative to using all mayonnaise as there is less cholesterol. Avoid dry sandwiches by making sure the spread reaches every corner of the bread. Whether it's mayonnaise or a cucumber cream cheese spread, it rids the sandwich of the dry taste of bread, meat and cheese. A quick dollop in the middle leaves only a well-moistured middle and less flavored and prepared edges. Make sure that you never give up when you are cooking, as it is going to take a lot of practice and failures before you get it right. If you burn something, keep trying. You will only become a great cook if you maintain your persistence. If your cooking has a lot to be desired it is time to turn that situation around. As long as you apply yourself, you can pretty much do anything. Hopefully, the tips and tricks provided in this article will help you to make that delicious meal and have everybody talking about your great meal. The amazing hacks the chefs use will go a long way in upping your cooking act. Just look at the following tips and tricks. When cooking a steak, place it in the pan on its side, and let the fat drip into the pan. The side has a pocket of fat on the narrow edge, and the flavorful, rich fat makes for great added flavor when you continue to cook your steak flat on both sides. If you have used entirely too much salt in your soup pan, all you have to do is add a raw potato into the mixture. One whole potato should suffice, unless you went way overboard, then add two. This will help absorb some of the extra salt in the pan and save your dinner. When you are making a killer sandwich, slow down and spread the mayo starting at the corners so that it covers every centimeter of the bread. People tend to just sloppily spread the mayonnaise across the center of the bread. That makes the edges far less flavorful than the middle. When you are seasoning a salad, add a small dose of olive oil in addition to natural sea salt. This will help to give your salad a crunchy appeal even after you add the dressing. Keeping your salad as crunchy as possible will create a feeling of freshness upon consumption. Don't try to squeeze your Thanksgiving turkey into a roasting pan. Never try to cook your turkey in a roasting pan that is too small. If it is touching the sides of the pan, the bird will steam, not roast. Place a rack in the pan that will raise the turkey so that hot air will circulate around it. Don't forget to line the bottom of your stove, in case of any drips. Cooking is easier now than in the past since appliances are available which can be timed to cook foods with preset programs. After the meal, it is easier to clean up with dishwashers, so no one has to stand by the sink for an hour washing dishes. An exhausted mother or even older children can make a meal with minimal effort. Which reminds me of a range of exquisite cookware that can set up a classy standard on any kitchen, if only you can follow the link in the description below.